We've been slowly making our way along the Clingothlin Canal here in Great Britain. It's a tiny stretch of the vast network of canals that were originally built in the 18th century to be the nation's industrial arteries, where narrow working boats transported Britain's goods. And despite the leisurely pace at which we're traveling, it's been a rather exciting journey so far. Better than I thought. <laughs> We've seen all sorts of wildlife, navigated some shockingly low-hanging bridges. Let me know if it's gonna hit my head. <laughs> Close, so <laughs> and mastered the locks. Oh. Okay, well, sort of. But today, today is where the real adventure begins. Can I tell people what that is? Ooh, big day today. All systems must be a go. This is gonna be the danger day. Ba ba ba. <laughs> anyway, I'm checking the prop to see if anything's stuck on it. We've got our little morning maintenance. Check the bilge. Put some grease on the. I don't know what the grease goes to. <laughs> I'm assuming the prop. <laughs> And I can see right now that this prop is clear. Which is good, because that water is cold. There's only one way to clear it. Yep, by hand. He said basically you stick your hand down there and you just feel around. Unfortunately, the sun's coming in really hot right behind us, so I can see it clearly. Wait, sorry, Danger, make sure it's not leaking. This is a big day. So many things are happening today. We are entering a World Heritage Site right this moment. We are crossing over from England into Wales. And then we are going on two different bridges today. Yes, bridges on a boat. One of them being the highest bridge in all of the canals in Great Britain. It's 126 feet high. It is going to be insane. It's an exciting day. I can barely talk. We're also going through a really long tunnel. Not right now, this is just a bridge, but later. Yes, he's walking faster than we're motoring. I can see the bridge. It's our first bridge. Ah! Gotta check to make sure nobody's coming, and I also have to prep the cameras. Ah, so much to do, I didn't expect it to be here so soon. Okay. Nikki just launched a drone. We're waiting on one boat to come through. Now I've got somebody on her backside. This is gonna get interesting, because immediately after the aqueduct bridge, we go straight into the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a one-way canal. It is very tight. All right. Good morning. Day for it. Gosh, yeah, really yeah. <laughs> okay. So nuts. Oh, my heart's racing a little bit. I don't know but why. It's, it's just exciting. Exciting. Yeah. yeah, because it's not like it's dangerous or anything. I mean, not that I know of. Well, oh, no, no, we. <laughs> this one's not dangerous. The next one is a little more exciting. But the thing is, is like they've never had a person on a boat ever die, I don't think, or even really get injured. I asked no. David that question. He they, said no. They said the story was different for paddle boarders. Yeah. Yes. Morning. Morning. You're going to hit the side. You're standing on my side. I got to blame somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. it up a little. It's so weird. We're on a boat, yet on a bridge. Cars and trains cross bridges, but I didn't know the boats cross bridges. You're just trying to block me? Yep, clearly. No. Why are you you're steering on the wrong side? No, this is the tiller side that I normally steer on. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, my steering is terrible. <laughs> First big excitement of the day, and we might even get rewarded with a cafe. Oh, I see an ice cream cone too. Is it too early for ice cream? Is it ever too early for ice cream? That's a dumb question. <laughs> Gonna come out like a missile. Two miles an hour. Yeah, I feel 
feel like the couple that was waiting with us, they went in like five minutes ago and they're still in the tunnel. <laughs> it must be really long. This is the longest, darkest tunnel in Wales. All my settings are wrong now. Let's crank this down, see what we can see in here. Hey, there we go. It's 1,381 feet long, which just for perspective is a little more than four and a half football fields. And I get that it's called a narrowboat and all, but wow, there really is no wiggle room in here. It is a tight squeeze. Yeah. Crazy to think that they used to come through here with the horses and the horse would be towing it along even through here. Almost out, it's gonna feel so warm. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> right in the eye. Right. <laughs> oh, it's starting to form like slide mites or slide tights. Yeah. 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 Woo! Baby. Jeez. <laughs> back to back. That was awesome. Oh, wow. You can actually tell how much the uh, water is. There's another camera there. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got like five cameras all just like sitting right here. You we'll probably see them in the shots every now and then. Oh, it's in uh, Welsh. Oh, I guess we have arrived. Bueno y Juan. Is it too late? On your accent or? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's no hope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whatever you said was not Welsh. No. <laughs> it didn't sound Welsh. We officially left England right when we entered the bridge. Yeah. Like as soon as you drive onto the bridge, you're sort of in between, is the way I read it. And then as soon as you cross over, now you're officially in Wales. Mm -hmm. And as I've been told many times when I've written it, it's W-A-L-E-S. Oh, not W-H-A-L-E-S, <laughs> it's not a whale. Not, not, not a marine animal, it's, it's, it's a place. It's a country, well, it's, Ah, uh, it's confusing. Yeah. I think it's a country. Yes, it's, it's definitely a country. We should do a two takes. It's definitely a country. It's not a country. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of Great Britain, but a separate country from yeah. the United Kingdom. Yes. History. <laughs> is it history or is it just... Oh, geography. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so smart. So well educated. What would we do without a rectangle of knowledge yeah. and the wonders of editing? We can make ourselves look smart. <laughs> we'll just pretend we knew all the right answers. Oh. See, that would be the easy thing to do. We just gotta just, let people know we're <laughs> real people. We're relatable. We're not something you see on, on YouTube or TV or whatever. We're just normal people. We mess up whales and whales. And we don't know anything Everybody about everything. Everybody on YouTube is normal people. I know. Everybody is just a normal person. Some people don't think we're normal. They think we're, ooh, what if we're deep fakes? Ooh. We're not real people. We're just AI. We're AI. Down, won't you stay? Won't you stay? Our love will never change, stays the same. One behind, I don't know how far though. Okay, we're coming up on our first exclamation point on the map. Dun dun dun! Hard we line told you this curve. <laughs> told you this was the dangerous day. One, two, three, yeah. four, five exclamation points. 
on this section, which is two and a half hours of the canal. And we've seen none up until this point? No. This is probably the most dangerous canal in all of Great Britain, most likely. <laughs> Could be the world. No big deal. We've got the scratches to prove it. <laughs> A couple of boats right in front of us just met at the blind curve. Hey, I'm sure that was exciting. Just got colder again too. It happened so quickly. Yeah. It's crazy because like when the sun is out, it's beautiful and lovely, but the moment it goes behind a cloud, it feels cold. He's going hard back. There must be somebody else coming on that blind curve. Okay. I'm at idle forward, so. Perfect. Thank you. One thing about narrow boating is that it is very community oriented and everybody, you know, you're also traveling slow. So you, you do give a warning, you tell how many was behind you, what's ahead. I guess like any boating community, but you're really gonna run into each other <laughs> often here because there's only so many places to go and you're all on one highway essentially. I'm gonna one step canal. off. No, that's okay. He's got this all on his own. He doesn't need me. There is something about the speed. Like the fact that you're just going so slow. It is sort of like <laughs> high action yet in slow motion, but yeah. in real time. I That probably doesn't make any sense, but it is an <laughs> odd sensation. You're like, oh, it's so stressful. And we're going so slow. Not as stressful though in a bad way. It's no. just literally exciting. Yeah. Okay, hit the horn again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a blind curve. Holy cow. Yeah, it is. Okay, one more time with the, co the horn. Okay. <laughs> that one was for the ducks. Yeah. Coming around. Move out of the way. Wide load. The Raft. What a great name for a black boat. I like your style, The Raft. <laughs> that was a gypsy boat right there. Yeah. I kind of like it. Ooh. I'd hang out with whoever lives on that boat. Something's not right. Definitely got something on there. I just don't know what it is. Could just be a stick. Turn, turn this way. Slow it down. You might have to take your sweater off. Why? So you have to reach your hand down in there. Maybe it'll just be right there and I'll be maybe, able to see it. Maybe. It's a bunch of sticks. Keys out, we're in neutral. Bang. <laughs> That's what's wrapped all around it. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was wrapped around. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Yep. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah? Yep. Clear? Clear. Nice. Well done. Not too bad. Nah. Just a little chilly. Just a little algae. Mm. Yummy. Mm. All good. All good. On our way. I see a lot of flashing lights ahead that can't be good. I see our bridge over there. I see our aqueduct. I think we might need this. So good news, the lights are just construction. It just happened to be like a it bridge at the like same time. The bridge, yeah. Yeah.
surprisingly quiet. I don't know. I expected like a chunk, 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 chunk. Right? That's it. So. Yep, they said it just stops at an angle. Right. How many are you? Good luck, nah. I like how he's like, okay, have fun. See you on the other side. Think the camera's gonna make it? What? <laughs> you might need to grab the camera. The camera. I said, do you think it's gonna make it? The camera? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'll grab it if it won't. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh. Right on the side. It's gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's close. Yeah, I'll go past these guys and then I can pick you up on the other side. All right, we are almost to the big aqueduct. This is what we came here for. This is the whole reason we are on this route of the canals because it goes over this bridge that seems impossible. The photos, it's just like kind of mind blowing. You think that's not real. Well, and when it was built, like, oh. what a feat of, like, engineering yeah. and ingenuity at the time. Like, I just, it's so cool. Okay. Nikki's gonna fly the drone. I'm gonna drive the boat. It looks nuts! Oh. I gotta, oh oh, I gotta steer right into the wall. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I will not distract you. Oh my gosh. It's... I'm like, oh, it looks a little sketchy. Wow, it's right there. Oh my gosh, oh. this is just. We're not tethered in. There's no railing on the left. It's just straight down. Uh, the mountains, it's just gorgeous. I mean, but like, it's. Here, let's do this. Like, here's our boat. And. Yeah. Be careful. So UNESCO describes this as a masterpiece of creative genius because this aqueduct, the one before it, the tunnel, and 31 other surrounding structures are all a World Heritage Site because of the incredible industrial engineering. Wow, the view behind us. The view everywhere. People taking photos of us. <laughs> us taking photos of those people. You okay? <laughs> Stop looking <laughs> down at <laughs> You okay? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh, I'll cry. <laughs> Are you afraid of heights? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Good for you. You're facing your fears. <laughs> yeah. I can't. You're doing well. Oh. Shame, poor thing. Good for her. And now I can officially say I have crossed the stream in the sky. Hey! Oh, you okay? You made all it. good, all good. <laughs> right here, we're gonna go left, not straight. Woo, that is a turn. <laughs> Whoa. I guess I can make it. Is that really where we're going? We can't go any further that way. No, that's it. Okay. Are we sure? Well, is that where other people are going? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> are we going the right way? <laughs> yeah. Ask the other higher boat. They definitely know, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's a little duck face down there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This seems crazy. It's like super duper narrow. I don't think the camera's gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe they let you do this on your own. <laughs> How was that? Was that terrifying for you? Did you feel like you almost lost your head? Because you almost lost your oh head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Jason saw his camera's live flash before yeah. his eyes. Oh. Woo! You! <laughs> Thank you.
Lovely flowers on all the trees. Woo! We are just treated to the beauty of nature on this trip. Woo! Man, not gonna lie, that was a lot going on. I mean, there's like the bridge and shooting it and everything else, and it's all so exciting. Oh. People watching and everything. Oh. Oh my goodness, sensory yeah. overloading. What do you think I should do? Slow down here and land it or? Yeah, if you can just come to a stop essentially, I will um, I'll bring it down. Grab I'm walking and I'm catching up. They're riding bikes and they're flying by her. Good luck, honey. Here comes a boat. <laughs> Let's go get this action. No problem. Is there anything behind you? Nope, that's it, just us. Perfect. Perfect. You put the timing just wrong. You're the fourth boat. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely boat. Thank you. You. Thank you.
We are in another super narrow spot. It said 500 meters, no passing spots. So we've just waited in that traffic jam for the two boats to come out. And now the three of us are going in you and I feel four, eyes four, four on my back. Yeah. <laughs> because there is a massive group of tourists in the boat behind me. So that would be the fourth boat. <laughs> in front of another couple of tourists. Great. Yeah, not tourists in a bad way, just they're all staring at me. <laughs> yeah, it's the fact that there's like 30 people in that boat. Plus the, guys that are, plus the guys that are professionals back there going, oh, come on, come on. Bushes everywhere, walls everywhere. We're here. And the fun part is we have to back in and there's no steering when you back up on this boat. So I guess you just do yeah, your best. You got this. We'll figure it out. You want me to do it? No, I got it. Honey, you yeah. used to back the boat up on the trailer like a <laughs> boss. I think you can do this. <laughs> there we go. You were on the ready. I love it, though. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Okay. I did it. I did it. Only took me three. Four times. I mean, it was only one try, but it was just four back and forth, Austin Power style. <laughs> this is officially the end of the canal, and it ends in this beautiful little marina. And I think that's worth celebrating with a pint of Cascale. I agree. Yes. Off the beer engine. I told the guy the other day, I said, yeah, what's on the engine? He goes, the engine? I don't know, we call it a beer engine in America, that little, that like hand tap thingy. I don't know what they call it here. I'll have to find out. That's what I'm gonna learn today. So before we head into town, we stopped off to pay our marina fee and it was a whopping six pounds. That's so cheap. And he was apologizing. I know, and he's like, we've had to raise rates, you know, and everything with inflation. And I'm like, I, I got it. Six pounds is not a problem. That's like, I mean, can you imagine in the sailing world paying six pounds a night? Basically, what, seven fifty or something? something like that. I mean, very, very affordable. Considering everything else up to this point has been free. It's a Tuesday, so a lot of the pubs are closed, and this was kind of one of the only ones. I don't know if you're gonna get your beer in. Yeah. Cheers. Unfortunately, she was like, I don't know, a pump? Yeah. Hand pump? <laughs> Hand pump, yeah. So I don't know that they necessarily have a fancy name for it like we do in the United States of America because everywhere kind of has those beer engines. But cask ales. Cask ales, yeah. So it just, but it pours so lovely and Nitrous. creamy. Oh, yes. Oh, Everybody wants to know, is it warm? Oh, it's yes. not, <laughs> it's not warm, but it's not cold. Yeah, yeah. Maybe room temperature? Yeah. And I mean like proper room temperature, probably at like whatever room temperature is, 68 degrees or something, something like that. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it's not like you're drinking hot beer, but it's not cold. I got this feeling 
Love is in season. Let's take a drive down to a place where affection grows. And your heart will know. Let's go down to a place where we stand face to face. I hear you only sign your name. A man shakes your hand and a kiss. We made our way to Horseshoe Falls this morning, right here behind me. And I know that yesterday we said we made it to the end of the canal, but I guess technically this would be the beginning of the canal because this is the source of the water that we have been navigating. And well, I guess this would be a dam more so than a true waterfall, but that's what this is. They call it, I think, a weir. And all of this water flows out from here and into a pump house, and then it gets measured and regulated flow and sent down the canal. It's really, it's incredibly ingenious when you think about it all. So it was built in like 1808 is when this was completed. So the project started, you know, in the late 1700s. And they thought of all of this, all these engineering feats, of those bridges, the whole nine yards, you know, or I guess 11 miles or something like that, because that's what this whole historical heritage site is. But I don't know, kind of just blows my mind. So while it's the beginning of the canal, it's also the end for us, because there's only one way in and one way out. So we get to go back to that marina, turn our boat around, and do it all over again. And our next stop, the HH factory. <laughs> now before you go clicking off, if you want to see our grand return, then head over to Cruising the Cut. Because while we documented the adventure, our friend David captured all the other bits, like our arrival, provisioning, training, and of course, our triumphant return. What have you forgotten? I forgot the line! <laughs> <laughs> His love of the canals and witty humor are what inspired us to make this trip and not to get too mushy about it, but David, it wouldn't have been as much fun without you. So thank you.